One of the biggest challenges for brands over the coming year is to be able to improve understanding of customer segmentation audiences and to size future growth potential. We bring customer segmentation models to life, changing the view from historical based trends to an enhanced view of the total consumer opportunity, highlighting future shopper communication preferences and buying trends that have emerged over the last year. Market view enables you to visualize the size of the total brand market opportunity, where it is and how to use the knowledge about consumer occasions and retail preferences of each audience segment to focus on the activation of future marketing initiatives. So if we look at market view, you can see we can pull in a lot of external data sets to give you detailed information on retail locations, where businesses are, demographic mix of residential and workforce populations, where transport links, public health and education facilities are, and also look at detailed geodemographics and how they relate to your customer segmentation audience. Market View also enables you to pull in your own customer segmentation modelled against the UK population so that you can visualise relevance at different geographic levels down to street level by looking at the population spread by segment, either in actual numbers or percentage terms. Each segment population type can be sized and ranked by areas to find the highest concentration of any of your individual target customer segmentation groups. This is particularly useful when you start to apply it to geographic areas such as cities, towns, sales regions or media broadcast areas. To illustrate this, we'll look at a customer segment profile comparison across three areas the southwest, the southeast, and London. The insights function gives you a detailed comparison between these three areas, covering the total segment population within the UK and each of the three areas by population number, population percentage, Z-score to normalise the population density between different sized areas and the index number to compare numbers against the national average. We can clearly see how the segments differ between the three areas and how awareness of those differences can help target marketing content to communicate with segments representing the largest opportunity. The insights can also be downloaded so they're available for internal company use across different departments and modified easily in Excel or PDF to highlight views for different audiences. In addition to area comparisons, you can also create your own custom areas. Customer areas can be created based on drive time or radius catchment areas. As an example, we can look at a six mile radius around three different towns, Northampton, Cambridge and Worcester. The Insight report highlights audience segment differences, which can help decide which promotions out of home advertising or even range planning is relevant by each location. It shows quite clearly there's a bigger opportunity for social interactors, budget bound and golden age within Northampton compared to Cambridge, which has higher population segment opportunity for social interactors and occasion experiences. We also have the ability to change and create our own insight reports to enable you to pull through external data sets or any additional imported uh, internal metrics such as sales, promotion code retentions, etc. Reports content can be easily modified and edited. It's a great way to share information with visual impact. The final area we will look at is how to build the relevance between different segments retailer preferences and compare it to corresponding segment audiences. The bar chart shows the differences between different shopper tribes or segments, which have come from research pen personas. These personas have highlighted communication, range and skew preferences, along with price sensitivity and purchase occasions across different route market environments. Here it shows which are the preferred supermarkets. By selecting the supermarket layer, we can look at where retailers are located, either as heat map clusters, points or points coloured by retailer. 
We can view the supermarkets within an area and sort by retailer or retailer fascia. We can also filter the supermarkets to correspond to the top three retailer preferences for each of the customer segments. By also turning on our customer segment layer, we have a heat map of where the highest number of corresponding populations are. We know that occasion experiences prefer to shop at Marks and Spencer, Sainsbury's and Waitrose. If we look at a Bristol area, we can not only see the density of postal district population of occasion experiences, but also how that relates to individual supermarkets. When we combine the two views, we can clearly see Sainsbury's are the best single retailer for occasion experiences range activation in this sample Bristol area. This quick overview gives you an idea of a few of the things that are possible to help bring to life data using visualisation tools and analytics. What it does provide is the ability to maximise return on investment gains from continuous brand and category data management reporting tools that underpin segmentation models. You can extend existing customer segmentations to new audience prospects, size category growth and identify the best locations for new product or promotional launches. It helps move from generic ranging across retailers to intelligent ranging based on precision targeting. You can align media planning content to the profile of the dominant segments within coverage areas. And you can match activation of media campaigns based on profiles or circulation areas to uplift sales in the periods of time following those promotion activations. We would love to talk to you more about this. Please contact us if you'd like a more personalised view of how these tools can help your brands and interactions with retailers and routes to market. Thank you.